Matthew chapter 16, verse 13. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Now this is an interesting question. You think you just read through your Bible. But there is a reason why here and now. Caesarea Philippi, these, these areas, the cities, had regional gods. Like when Abraham came out of the Ur of Chaldees, Ur of Chaldees is the moon god. You got cities in America, they worship the great one R bandit. They worship sex. They worship Republican. They re worship Democrat. It, they have a god given to their city uh in the book of Acts, you read about Ephesus, the great Ephesus that worshipped the goddess Diana. Diana was known in Ephesus. Well, here, in Caesarea Philippi, it's the god Pan, P-A-N. He's a Greek god of shepherds and wild. He's the half goat, half man. The Satar. Pan, you would recognize if you have not recognized it already, is where you get the story of Peter Pan. Peter Pan and the, the vile wickedness of this God. Listen, Peter Pan is a wicked story if you go to the, the, the foundation, the beginning. I mean, they've only lightened it up so they can put it on Broadway. He asked his disciples, says, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So where they worship the, the false God of shepherds, and this gets into your, uh, your paganism. Alright, they have a Following God that's a shepherd. So the shepherd says to the flock, Israel, okay, who they say I am. And it's interesting that the Jews do not say Pan. Maybe the Gentiles would have. So they said, the disciples, some say that thou art John the Baptist. John the Baptist was full of the Holy Ghost from the womb. Interesting. Elias, or Elijah. Okay, Elijah, Hebrew, Elias, Greek. Hooray! Another Greek and Hebrew lesson. Elijah never died. And others, Jeremiah, Greek, Jeremiah, Hebrew, hooray, you learned two Hebrew and Greek words today. Jeremiah was ordained by God, Jeremiah chapter 1, from the womb. I have called thee. Filled the Holy Ghost from the womb, never died, and then called from the womb. These three remarkable men. And then they said other prophets. Well, it's quite interesting that the disciples said John the Baptist. Because we read that in order to be an apostle, you have to have been baptized by John. But that's what people were saying. Now, when you go back to Matthew, chapter 14, verse 1, at that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard of the fame of Jesus and said unto his servants, This is John the Baptist. Uh, you beheaded him. I don't think it's John the Baptist. So, if it had to have been John the Baptist, it would have to have been a resurrection, as you read the previous chapter that we just read about Herod. He thought it was John the Baptist's resurrection. 
Elijah's a rapture. So when Paul in the book of Acts is addressing the councils that he's up against, he says, well, you know, being called to the resurrection, I am, here I am. They knew what the resurrection was. So the, this is the main state with the people. They, they, didn't th they didn't think it was Jesus. Thought it was John the Baptist, Elias, Jeremiah, or one of the other prophets. And at this point, now we're going to come to another focal point. We're coming to the end of, of Matthew. We're seeing the Messiah is not being received. He said unto them, the disciples, All right, everybody else said, but, what, but whom say ye that I am? I am. When John records Jesus and say, I am, he gets tempers flying. That was a clue, you know. Who do you say? I am. <laughs> Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art Christ. The Christ. Why the Christ? Because there's an Antichrist. Christ means anointed. Holy Spirit anointed of God. The Son of the living God because there's the dead gods. The living God because they're in the city of Pan. Peter is very, very strict on his words in a city that worships fallen gods. And we are in a day and age, I'm going to say, because we're in the season. You've got to tell them, this is not the birthday season of Jesus. And I'm sorry, you got good Bible Baptist King James leaving churches that well we know it's December 25th is not the birthday of Jesus, but we're gonna have a birthday for Jesus. And you make everybody think by bringing gifts and that it's his birthday. They didn't hear, oh, we think we know it's not the birthday. They didn't hear that. Now Peter the living God. Did we hear God? The living God, he said. Pan is a dead God. And Simon answered said unto him, Peter, Blessed art thou, Simon. Alright. That's Peter's old name. Bar Jonah. Son of Jonah. What the bar mean? Simon's father's name was Jonah. Or grandpa. Funny how that name Jonah comes into play. Jonah came from this region. Jonah was not a fisherman. Jonah was a, a human in. He didn't catch fish, the fish caught him. For flesh and blood have not revealed it unto you. No human told Peter, Simon Peter, that Jesus is the Christ, he's the Son of the living God. No human, no rabbi. But my Father, which is in heaven, no one, the Bible say, can say, uh, there's a curse to say that Jesus is the Lord. you got to be saved. Anybody can say the name of Jesus, but to worship him as Jesus, the, the Son of God, who is God, is one that has put his faith in belief and has the Holy Spirit indwelling in him. Now the Father is capital F because there's a small F of Satan. Which is in heaven, Satan's all around. Simon did not get this from James, John, his rabbis. He got it from God. God spoke to Simon. Jesus spoke to Simon, being God.
Because I've known, especially of the, of the colored women, oh, Jesus, Jesus, my sweet Jesus, oh, Jesus, this, Jesus, that, Jesus, glory to God, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, give me some more Jesus. And they could be as lost as a hand grenade sitting on the Titanic in the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. You can, you, you can say Jesus all you want, but to proclaim Jesus as God, Jesus as Savior, that has to come from the Father, that has to come from the Son, that has to come from the Holy Spirit. And when you're in a public ministry, you'll meet all kinds of people, Jesus. You're turning people away, it's not the Christian, that's not what my path, that's what I do, I let my light shine, I, 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 But, did what you claim come from the Father in heaven, or did it come from the Father that's of hell? You say, why are there all kinds of churches? Why are there all kinds of religions? The Father of hell. And God allowed it. I say unto you thee, oh here we go, here's a problem text. Thou art Peter, okay, there's Peter. He's talking to Peter. I don't know how he's hand gesturing, but thou art Peter. Upon this rock. Why would he address Peter and then say this rock? Why would he say thou art Peter and upon you the rock? Thou art Peter the rock. Thou art Peter. You wouldn't even say this rock. Unless you want to say all the disciples are rocks and all the disciples are not rocks. And you can't say it's uh, Caesarea Philippi because the church was not built there. I believe the church was built on the day of Pentecost with Peter preaching Acts chapter 2. That's in Jerusalem. How about thou art Peter, talking to Peter, and upon this rock pointing to himself, not the Catholic Church. I will build my church. There's tons of churches. But there is one that Jesus said is mine. So what do you do? Let's look at this for a moment. You build a Baptist church. You get going, people get saved, you're singing, hallelujah, glory to God. And then an event like COVID-19 or you lost your evangelism and all that, and your church closes up. And you said, to, Oh, I want to thank you for being here in the Lord's house this Sunday morning, and all the blessing, and your church is closed. You trying to tell me that Christ's church is closed up? Your church is not the church because it's not where. They are in Israel. Church is not a building, it's a group of people. And if you've got, you know, we're thank you for being in, in the church of the Lord today, in the house of the Lord, and you know he said, Blessed be no, I'm not saying the verse right, but blessed be come in the house of the Lord. Um, are there lost people in your church? Are there people who don't know the Lord? Are you in right standing with God? Or, or is Jesus Christ in the land to see in church age? You're the, you're the exempt one that Jesus Christ is standing outside the door knocking. Listen, when you got the motifs and your words and your prayer, well, th this is the house of the Lord, you got the same thing the Roman Catholic Church got. Or the one mother church. 
And that's where they'll claim right now. The Roman Catholic Church will say, this is Peter, the first pope, and this is the Roman Catholic Church. That's their proof text. Stop any Catholic with any sense and they'll tell you. Stop a priest. Say, hey, listen. Peter, rock, church. What do you say is it? Tradition tells us he's the first pope and this is the Roman Catholic Church. But Jesus did not say the rock was Peter. He said the rock was him. Paul will tell us that rock is Christ. Uh, wait a minute. Scripture was Scripture. Peter just said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. When you go over to Paul in Corinthians, he says, That rock that fall on that spiritual rock is Christ. Peter and Paul are in agreement. This took a few more years in between the gap to write. That rock is the rock that gave them the water in the wilderness. That is Jesus. There was no Catholic Church coming out of Egypt. And that's the trouble you get with, oh, you know, there were Christians in the Old Testament. Oh, boy, you blew it. And the gates of hell, Jesus speaking about hell shall not prevail against it. So how on earth do you describe you as the mother church? Hell will not prevail. And yet, today the church is lying dormant. It's dead. Its priests and its nuns have been involved in sexual immortality. There are many churches right now, the Roman Catholic Church in America, they're closing up. They can't afford. Yet we take the scriptural grounds of the Roman Catholic Church, there is hell. It is the kingdom of Satan, and Jesus already said, Satan can't raise up against Satan. The church is failing, God's church, Jesus' church is failing, but there are Christians that are in heaven, there are Christians that are going to heaven, they're never going to go to hell, Satan's touch is never going to defile them, they will go off into a place called New Jerusalem, never will hell visit New Jerusalem. One day, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to come. He's going to call his bride away. Satan, hell, nuclear armament, Russia, United States, Donald Trump is not going to stop Christ from calling his church home. I will give unto you the keys, plural, of the kingdom of heaven, that spiritual kingdom. Birds are flying around. People are walking around. And if you look at the flag or the emblem of the Roman Catholic Church, they got a gold and silver key. The keys of Peter's kingdom of God is the very Acts chapter 2 when Peter preaches to the Israelites, the Jews. That's the first key. Now Peter's second key will be when he goes over to Cornelius' house, Acts chapter 10. It's not the keys of the church. You can't say that you can lock up people from going to heaven or going to hell by your pope, your priest, your pastor, whatever. 
In the kingdom of heaven, the sense is. It's a key of power and authority. That Peter put forth Pentecost when he proclaimed and he preached the gospel and works to the Jews. And the Holy Spirit came down. And then when he goes to Cornelius' house under the rest, he didn't want to go. And he goes in that house, there's a bunch of Gentiles, and as he's preaching, the Holy Spirit comes down even before the imitation. That's the keys to the Gentiles. That Paul's already been set, saved and set forth to go study and learn as he will go to the Gentiles. The Roman Catholic Church teaching is if you don't belong to Mother Church, you don't take part in the sacraments of Mother Church, you don't believe the authority and the, the traditions of the Mother Church, you're going to, to hell. And eventually in time, the church will lenient let you into heaven so you can kiss the Pope's feet and wake the saints of Mary and all the other jerks. If you get married because you're not a Catholic to a Catholic and you're married outside the gate of the church, if you're not buried in the Catholic cemetery, you're doomed to be anathema. If you don't believe that that bread and that, that wine is the literal blood and body of Jesus Christ, you are considered anathema, you'll die and go to hell. Maybe the Pope will one day give you some lenience. That's what they say the keys of Peter are. That's the emblem of the Catholic Church. If you look it up, you know, we have the keys to heaven. But it says, And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. All through Matthew so far, 16 chapters, the kingdom of heaven is not the kingdom of God. Kingdom of God is where the throne of God is. There's a big difference between the two. Don't get them mixed up. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. So whatever the Pope say, seal, satisfy, and it's called a bull. An actual statement of the, of the Pope is called a bull, and I would add a word of dung to the end of it. I can't say it. So, I mean... If the Pope was in an elevator, if the Pope was in the toilet, and he made an official statement of the Catholic Church, that would be bull. Yeah, it is bull. But that is not the bounding here upon Peter. Because the Peter we're looking at right now, Jesus is going to say, Satan would have desired to shift you. He's going to turn around and... Tomorrow night, Lord willing, he's going to turn around and say, Depart from me, Satan, talking to the Pope, if he was the Pope. This man named Peter is going to deny even cussing Jesus. It's not the authority into the kingdom of heaven, it is bound in heaven. The kingdom of heaven. So what, and this would be the council in Acts of James, Peter, and John. Paul come to him and said, listen, we got a problem here. What's that for? Now the Jews were actually practicing salvation in the law in Jerusalem. When Paul came to Jerusalem, he said, you know, go fast and go anoint yourself and go to the temple and take these guys with you. Paul was saved. But you're surrounded by other Jews. Paul went and had Timothy uh, circumcised because they knew his father was a Greek, but you'll be dealing with a Jew. So Paul came to the council of Jerusalem and they settled for the Gentiles is no fornication, no strangulation, no eating of blood. Oh, that's 
that defiles the Catholic Church. And things strangled. I think there's one more. So at the agreement of Peter, John, and James, who was the head of the church in Jerusalem, and Paul, the, the, the apostle to the Gentile, all right, we will stand firm to this. These are the letters. They are signed. That's what he's talking about right here. The rules and the order. That's why I think James is the writer of Peter, James, and John, because James is the, the head of the church in Jerusalem. Why would you have Peter, James, and John? Peter, James, and John. You have John writing the gospel in three epistles in the book of Revelation. You have Peter writing two epistles, and you got James, the Lord's brother. Well, who is James, the Lord's brother? Nobody authority. Now, James, one of the three that was in always, Jesus called Peter, James, and John, Peter, James, and John, Peter, James, and John. So when they set forth rules and prayed in the book of uh, Acts, here we are. All right, they set forth Gentiles not to fornicate, they're not to eat things strangled, not to eat things with blood. Okay, write that down in the books of heaven. Listen, if Peter could have the power and authority of people going to heaven or hell, why did Cornelius and his family get into heaven when he didn't want to be there in the first place? He didn't want to have anything to do with the Gentiles. Whatsoever things loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The kingdom. Then charge he the disciples that they should no, they shall tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. We're going to start heading to Calvary. It's going to cause a ruckus. I know you guys believe who I am. They don't. Think I'm Jeremiah's? That's been a many few years. I think Jeremiah's would be stinking by now, if not bones. They didn't get it. And there's no sense of going out there telling because they don't have ears to hear. They don't, they don't have eyes to see. I am he. So the ministry is closing. And it's definitely a closed door when you take what we just read tonight and apply it to the one mother church. You don't see no mother church. You don't see no father church. It's ridiculous. Jesus gave no man authority of who goes to heaven or who goes to hell. You go today by the blood of Jesus Christ. Because Paul would never reign, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, I shall be saved. If what we're reading right here would have been so, he would have told that Philippian Joe, you better go see Peter. Paul writes, at one point, I'm not going to get it completely right. He says, you know, listen, Peter was at fault. I had to rebuke him. A great Pope. The Pope was in error. That's why the Catholics don't want you to read the Bible. You might be, oh, wait a minute, Paul yelled at the Pope? Oh, boy. Jesus called the Pope the devil? Oh, wait a minute. Call no man your father. Oh, Catholic Church, 200 AD, judges. Oh, here's this he made man that had a priest. He called him father. He had idols. And If you are the member of, the, of, the, of Jesus Christ, by faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone. You are my church in his words. Now he starts speaking about my church, building my church. Because where we are now. In chapter 28. 12 verses away. 12. You have the death, burial, resurrection, 
And then you had the great commission, not to the Gentiles, to the Jews. Jerusalem, Jews. Samaria, half Jews. And then outer parts of the earth. I told you before, we're dealing with Jews. We're dealing with the king of Jews. We're not dealing with no Gentiles. So don't come in here with Gentile mother church. Where you are in the city of Pan. Who is the imitation shepherd. And you look at all the times that the Catholic Church proclaims to be the shepherd. There's a reason why he did this in, in, in Philippi. Because Pan is there. 